Coming up, you'll discover a free tool to help you see if you've landed an Apple feature and also help you monitor future features. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.co, the place you go when you want action-packed content that's working to help you grow your app business, to help you grow downloads for your app business. Because I'm bringing the best content around in the interwebs. Today, I really want to talk about an Apple feature. It's something that we've gotten really good at. We've helped three of our clients in May alone get featured by Apple 12 in the last 16 months. It's something that we're really proud of. And we've come up with some really unique angles on how to approach that. And if you check my previous video, you'll find the, the new way of trying to land an Apple feature. It was just announced in, Ju in June of 2017 during WWDC, Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference. And it's a brand new way. So go check that video out if you want to see how to approach Apple. They've systemized it in a way. So definitely check that out. And I just did a webinar yesterday, if you're watching this video the day it came out, that's June 16th, about our process on how we approach Apple and how we've landed those 12 Apple features. Now, it's okay if you missed it. There's a replay going on. If you're watching this, the day it comes out. But if you want access to that replay, just go sign up for the it by going to appmasters.co slash apple. That's appmasters.co slash apple. All right. Let's get to today's content about how do you really see if you got featured by Apple? Now, it's one of those things where, one, the easiest way to figure this out is by seeing your analytics. You know, your impressions are going to go through the roof when you land an Apple feature, right? They just go through the roof. We've got millions. I mean, I'm talking about millions of impressions. And then from depending on the type of app you have, it can go to mid five figures to six figures for the type of apps you have. For games, it can go as high as six figures for free for an Apple feature. And for non-games, it's anywhere I would say on the low end, probably low tens of thousands to you know, 50, 60, 70,000, 100,000 if, if Apple really likes your app. Now, one of the easiest ways to see if you got in feature is through the app store itself. So I've, this is my iTunes account. Now you can check this in your on your phone as well, but I'm using, I'm showing you my iTunes currently. These are all the apps that are being featured, right? And so you can see these banners here. You can see these apps. Generally, when we help a client and I feel pretty good about a feature, I'm always looking at these features because I want to see if we, one, got a client featured and two, what are, excuse me, what other apps are being featured right now? So this is a great way. I just switched over from iPhone, iPad, you can see all that. And you can kind of see which ones are being featured. And what I also look for too, and this is something I covered in the, the webinar is pay attention to what's going on right here. Sometimes Apple will promote certain categories and it's a good opportunity for you to try to land an additional feature, right? By paying attention to these banners. Sometimes they'll say, accessibility apps or that was one of the clients that we got featured last in may accessibility apps or it's a meditation or health and fitness so whatever they might be promoting promoting in terms of categories pay attention to it because that might be an opportunity for you to be like oh wait that's what my app fits perfectly in that category and it's a possible way for you to get featured okay we did that in may alone all right the other tool that i want to share with you is App Annie. So this is App Annie. This is our app that we got featured. It's called Paintball Rush. And I'm going to kind of walk you through some of the ways you can do it. So the first thing you want to do when you log into App Annie, if you haven't signed up, definitely sign up, but is search for your, your app. All right. So Paintball Rush. And I've already searched for that. This was an app that we got featured in China in May of 2016. And we did pretty decent. I think it was about $30,000. So I had add that, go ahead and click that. It's gonna be taken to a page about app details, but you wanna scroll down and go to the featured section. Okay. Once you're in the featured section, this is where I was at. 
you can then see today's Apple features, right? So usually once you click that, it will show you a snapshot of what's happening today. Right now, as of this recording, June 12, 2017, obviously we're not getting featured anymore, but it will show you if you are getting featured. So let's pull up somebody that is getting featured. This was a past client of ours that is a big, I'm a big fan of his and I'm going to pull his up so you can see what his looks like because he is getting featured right now. All right. Mind Bliss is the app. It's a great meditation app. So if you're in the, in the mood for meditation, definitely check it out. It's AI powered guided meditation. All right. So here's this app right now. I'm going to go into the featured section. This is all free by the way. And we helped this app get featured in May pitching Apple. And we got a, a homepage feature in the U S store and banners in Canada. But I just noticed this because as I was prepping for this video is he actually has a banner in the United States as well. So here, this is today that's happening. It's telling you where it's being featured right now. So right now, I guess Canada has a iPhone featured home collection list about made in Montreal. And he's under that banner. See, you can even see that it's a, it's one of those banners and it's mind bliss right now. And then the other thing is us health under the health and fitness. He's got a top banner. So I'll show you where that is it's because app and is telling us we can go back to iTunes and I'll show you in the U S right now, we're going to go to health and fitness. So all categories, health and fitness. So pay attention to this workouts and trainers. This could be an opportunity for you to get featured, but let's, let's scroll through these banners. A little bit. And there he is. See, so app Annie tells us exactly where he's being featured and then boom, you can see it in the app store. Here's a beautiful banner that he had to submit to Apple for that possible feature. Okay. The other thing I want to show you is because you saw that in Canada. So you're like, where is that in Canada? You can actually switch app stores with this. So go into iTunes connect if you're already there. And then here's how you switch countries. So I'll show you how to go to Canada real quick. Canada. And again, we helped this client get a, you know, new apps we love, but that was back in May. So in Canada, you saw that, Hey, they were being featured in Canada with apps that were made in Montreal. So a little bit harder to find, right? So we're going to have to search through a little bit and I'm trying to look for that banner that they had to could be the top banner. Let's go back real quick. I want to see where they said featured and it's in home and it's called made in Montreal. So let's see where that falls into under it's got a little WhatsApp message. Okay. So here celebrate collections. I was thinking, of my, Oh, here we go. Made in Montreal. Okay. Here it is. Right. So celebrate Canada made in Vancouver, made in Montreal. You can click there. It's a little bit buried, but you see here's mind bliss again. So that's where you kind of figure it out. Now for me, the, there's a paid service called AppBot, which is really cool. So you can add your app in there and then you get emails anytime your app is being featured and AppBot will actually tell you where it was being featured, but this is the free tool AppBot, You have, you have to pay and AppBot's really cool. So if you want to monitor reviews, your app store reviews as well, they'll do that as well. And also tell you, send you an email when it's been, when your app's been featured for our clients, you know, we're just going to have to scour app any kind of figure out, Hey, are they being featured or not? So if you go into the history, you'll see a bit more and I'll walk you through this a little bit more too. This should have the dates that we were actually featured. Yeah. So featured home. Okay. So this has all the dates, right? If you, you can mess with the date range right here, but this is where we were featured back in May and the home category under Canada and U S. So you gotta, you know, the new apps we love right here under the homepage. Let me see, let me go back for you guys, but the main homepage of the app store right here, new apps we love. That's where we landed the, the mind bliss app store feature. I wonder if it's still there. Anyways, we're right here. So that's what this featured home means. And then you can mess around with this. So you can pick different countries. You can go worldwide with this, or you can just say, Hey, you know, I don't want to see any of these category stuff. Just show me things that happened in the home category. Cause that's where the most exposure is going to be. So you can see how many times you've been doing, how many times you got featured. 
And then in the country side, you can see which countries actually featured it in the home. So we see Canada, Australia, United States, they all featured it under their home category because we monitored it with the featured home and the different countries. We're looking at the different countries now, right? That's an easy, easy, easy way of being able to see. And you can even see if they got any top banners, but I wanna see all right now. That's an easy, quick and easy way of figuring out if you got an Apple feature. And let's see, we can go back to this date. So let's go back to May 13th, 2007. And I'll show you what that looks like as well, the homepage stuff. I probably could go to 11, but here. Okay, so right here. So it's featured home. That's in the new apps we love category. That's where in the US we, we hit. And then in Canada, as you can see, we got the banner under the featured home. So app banner under featured home. And then Australia, we got featured home, new apps we love, new apps we love. So that's where you really wanna end up because that's where you'll get a lot of lift and getting a banner is even a greater lift. So you can see, you know, what App Annie does is give you all the banners that you have and all this stuff. And you can look at some of your competitors. So if you're, I guess the other way you can use this is if you're trying to approach a game publisher, you wanna look back at some of the games they've launched and you can kind of see when did the game come out? Did they get an Apple feature? Where did they get featured? And again, if you get these features, these can relate to tens of thousands of downloads in a matter of days, like boom, and definitely a ton of impressions. So a lot of great things. And I actually got a Facebook message today about somebody who asked like, does it increase paid subscriptions, you know, in-app purchases? Yes, all that happens because there's no greater, I guess, campaign that you can run than an Apple feature in terms of downloads in terms of conversions for in-app purchases like every other campaign that we've run we see good amount of downloads we may see good amount of downloads but we, you know the other metrics may or may not go up as well but with apple feature anytime you run it you're going to see the downloads you're going to see the increase in in-app purchases you're going to see everything go up because there's a little sway you know obviously people love apple products and so if apple because they're so editorial with their featuring process if they say you're worthy of a feature, you're going to get that increase in downloads and increase in sales. So that is it. That is the free tool that you can use to monitor your Apple features. And again, if you want to get access to that masterclass where I walk you step by step about how to pitch Apple that's working today. Okay. None of these case study stuff about that happened maybe a few years ago, but things are that are working today. If you want access to that masterclass, go check out at masters dot co slash apple all right guys i'll see you later bye